Scrambling for school, ITT Tech closes its doors for good, leaving students wondering what happens next. Good evening. It tops our news at 6. Thousands of students are out of luck after ITT Technical Institute shut its doors today. Yeah, after 50 years, the for-profit school lost its accreditation. The federal government announced two weeks ago it would not subsidize its students any longer. And our guy Gordon has talked with a number of frustrated students and their families. He joins us now live. I mean, it's not just students, is it, Guy? No, it's also the employees. 8,000 of them lose their jobs. It, it really just makes your heart sick. Carmen, we've talked to people both online and here in person. One young lady just left here, $45,000 in student debt. She was in tears. The students, by far the hardest hits for them today. ITT means interrupted technical training. They have nowhere to go, and they're trying desperately to get their money back. you got to feel for them, especially for the veterans here. Travis is a disabled vet attending ITT on the GI Bill. He was one week away from certification. Now is uncertain if credits will transfer, can't get his transcripts to enroll in a new school, and without that, could lose critical VA benefits. And that's $2,000 that's just cut from my allowance, which could possibly, you know, lead to me being homeless. So I just feel kind of like heartbroken and disappointed, and just a little bit of anger. Tyler was entering his senior year in ITT's Early Career Academy for high school students. A 3.9 GPA. Now he's worried he may not graduate this spring. Sure, do I get all my credits? Do I get my scholarships or anything? They're not giving no information. ITT blames the U.S. Department of Ed for, quote, complete disregard for due process to the company, hundreds of thousands of current students, and alumni. But there are mounting complaints ITT's degrees are not marketable and that local, less expensive community colleges do a better job. This former student has 15000 in student debt. My student loans here is just in limbo. I don't have any way of getting information from them. I, I'm screwed with it. And we heard from one couple online today. They have collectively $80,000 in student debt and a degree that they say there's nothing they can do with it. It isn't marketable. Now, the Department of Education came out late today, the Secretary of Education saying that there is a possibility that if you are a recently enrolled student or someone who did not complete the program when ITT closed, you may be able to get those student loans discharged. However, if you transfer it to another school, your ability to do that diminishes. So go to our website, click on Detroit.com. I've got a couple of links there that will lead you to the Department of Ed site that will help and instruct you on what to do next if you're trying to get those loans discharged. We're live from Troy. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Carmen and Steve, back to you. Wow, Guy, what, what options do they have? I mean, it sounds pretty hopeless for a lot of folks. Well, you heard from Tyler there, the young man that was with the Early Academy. He's hooked up with a charter school down in Dearborn that he think he, he thinks he completed his education there. He just doesn't know if the credits will transfer if he'll complete it on time. Uh, our Travis, our veteran, he was up at OCC. They had an open house today. He's hoping to get enrolled there, but if he can't get his transcripts, that can't happen. So they've got options. It's about connecting the dots to get it done. Boy, and fighting bureaucracy and everything else. Boy, a tough spot for those oh, folks. Oh yeah. Thank you, guy.